Hey guys, Badal here. Right now in 2022, we have quite a few options on a cloud storage like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, and some more. Most of the time, it's difficult to decide which one you should buy. Should I buy Google Drive or should I buy OneDrive? Every year, they are launching a new features on the platform. So today, we are going to talk about cloud storage so I'm here to answer your questions about which one you should buy and this is everything you could possibly want to know before you invest in the right cloud storage I'm sure once you start using a cloud storage you are going to use for a long time maybe your whole life So in this video, we will compare two major cloud storage provider, Google Drive and OneDrive from Microsoft. So in this video, we will compare the features, limitations, security and privacy, and most important factor, cost. See, in this video, we are talking about only personal version of the cloud storage where you like to store your kids picture your vacation memories or if you are freelancer or friends or family are looking for a share storage this video is not for business and enterprises i will have a comprehensive comparison for office 365 and google workspace i would encourage you to subscribe this channel to get notification Okay, let's discuss features. One of the most common feature on both platform, how we use this cloud storage, right? One, one of the way to use this cloud storage is through the web browser without installing any application on your desktop where you can log into your account securely and work on your documents. With OneDrive, you got the Microsoft account where you can use some of the apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, online version of all those apps, which you can use through browser. Uh, this is not the desktop application, uh, uh, means whenever you are editing a file, it is going to store directly on the cloud if you want to save on your desktop, you may have to download after uh, making all the changes. Uh, there are some interesting apps also included with the Microsoft accounts like Sway, List, Forms, Team, To-Dos. With the Google One, you Google Photos, Google Docs, Google Sheet, slides and some more cool apps uh, one of the interesting app that google provides is google site with their free version and paid version with office 65 personal and family plan includes desktop version of those applications word excel powerpoint where you can easily work on your documents offline and save locally on your computer even when you are online, you can use, there's a feature called uh, auto save. You can enable that feature and uh, for each document and that document will store uh, on the cloud automatically. With the Google, you can work offline using Chrome browser. Uh, there is an add-on called Google Docs offline, but I would suggest you um, use this feature with caution as this feature still have some bugs 
and uh, Google is still working on it. Uh, second option uh, to use the uh, cloud storage, uh, OneDrive and Google Drive both has a sync client. The, there's an application called Sync Client which install on your computer either on your Mac or Windows and uh, will keep uh, syncing the documents between cloud and in your desktop. Uh, so OneDrive has an incredible feature to sync your Mac or PC's file with you with the OneDrive where you can select a folders from your computer like desktop downloads documents and start syncing with the OneDrive and uh, uh, sometimes that's a very easier way whenever you create any files or folders uh, inside those folders uh, it will start automatically syncing with the cloud both platform has an option to save local storage space okay google has a feature called stream file where by default all the files stored um, in the cloud and it will download as needed uh, for example uh, google drive has a microsoft file which you are syncing with your desktop and when you double click it will download that file at that time and open that word file or excel file in desktop version of the word excel uh, or powerpoint uh, um, uh, desktop application where onedrive uh, sync client has a feature called file on demand where all the files download automatically as needed uh, and it free up the space by those you don't need it. So major difference between both sync client when you using Google Drive and Google file format like a Google Doc, Sheet, Slide. When you try to open that file, it will add it, it will open and add it in the browser, Chrome browser. So there are some pros and cons uh, for Google file format in Google Drive which can, which we can discuss on other videos so next feature have so next feature is how you can share and collaborate on both platform both platform has a neat feature to share the files and folder with other users through e through email or through anonymous link where you can grant them a viewer editor or comment access Microsoft has a better version of the sharing feature where you can enable password protected and enable expiration date for those link or you can enable expiration date for uh, files that you share with a specific people using email address so I can say that this is more secure option to the share files both platforms do support version history depending on the plan you have and it will save previous versions of the files OneDrive you can retrieve up to all the versions up to 30 days same with the Google where you can retrieve all the version up to 30 days and this feature will be different based on your plan like business and enterprises plan has some more ro robust uh, option for saving the version history but that is for other video um, there are some robust mobile apps for both of the platform for quick and easy access through your phone I know we we are using mobile phone more than a computer nowadays so let's discuss limitations OneDrive has a file size limitation of 250 gig of individual file which is pretty huge for most of the cases where Google has a 5 terabyte of individual file size limitation which is pretty pretty huge. Both platforms do have some limitations for file size, file count depend on your plan. I would recommend uh, checking the link below in the description of this video. Let's discuss the security and privacy for both of the platform. I'm sure this important topic 
for when you're storing your personal data and images on the cloud. Both platform encrypt the data using AES 256 bit encryption. What does that mean? So if someone hacked those data outside of the company, they cannot use or view your files and folders as they are encrypted. But hold on, both don't have end-to-end -end encryption uh, for those data means anyone in the company can access and view those files uh, that does not mean they are doing it but comp but the company itself can do it uh, sometime to provide you on a support so onedrive has a second layer of uh, security option called personal vault where you can access those files and folder using two-factor authentication like one-time password sending to your mobile phone or passcode generated on authenticator application on your phone um, on the top of that uh, onedrive does have a security layer to pro protect against the ransomware detection and recovery of your file um, so that's pretty secure uh, when they they are when Microsoft is claiming that uh, they are able to protect you against ransomware and uh, they can recover your files if someone encrypted it. Uh, based on current plan uh, on September 2022, Microsoft do offer a free basic 5 gig plan where you can use OneDrive service if. 5 GB is not enough for you. Actually, this is not enough for anyone. But it, if it is not enough for you, then Microsoft do offer 100 gig plan for $19.99 a year or $1.99 a month. On other hand, Microsoft has Microsoft 365 plans which is $69.99 a year or $6.99 a month for Microsoft of uh, Microsoft 365 personal and $19.99 a year or $9.99 a month for Microsoft family plan for both and both plans do include desktop version of office applications for Mac and Windows in Microsoft 365 personal plan you get one gig of storage for single user and Microsoft family plan allows you to share with six user or family members and each user get one terabyte of storage means you get total six terabyte of storage in Microsoft uh, 365 family plan so if you are a freelancer or a group of freelancer or family friends who needs more storage i would recommend you to go with microsoft 365 family plan as i mentioned this doesn't this does come with the desktop version of the office application for mac and windows so and there's some advanced security with a person with a personal vault for all the files and folders so that's a pretty good deal uh, on other hand, Google One also offer a 15 gig plan for free. This 15 gig is shared with your email storage unless you are just using for a Google Drive. With from 5 gig free storage with the Microsoft OneDrive, but Microsoft OneDrive storage separate is separate than Outlook email storage which is 15 gig so kind of you're getting more storage with OneDrive and uh, uh, how depend how you are using the cloud storage if 15 gig Google Drive storage is not enough for you then Google does offer 100 gig plan for 199 a month or 200 gig plan for 299 a month and there's third plan uh, 2 terabyte which is 9.99 a month all paid plans you can share with up to five users and hold on 
this means you can share total storage with five users in in the case of two terabyte plan you will be sharing two terabyte with the five users so if one user is using one terabyte so rest of the four user will use other one terabyte um, and on other hand Microsoft 365 family plan allows each user to have one terabyte means six terabyte storage so you are getting a little bit extra on Microsoft plan um, even if see even if some of the package has some extra feature I'm sure that cannot be a deciding factor it's really in reality the package should be depend on your needs please do let me know in the comment if i missed anything here so now it's over to you what do you prefer onedrive or google drive let me know in the comment below and please do comment what else you like to see in my next video or if i can answer your question thanks for watching the video